driver switches on the siren when it is 300 meters away from the observer. Okay. The observer recalls the detected sound waves of the siren as Patrick approaches, passes, and moves away. Information is given on the graph. Wow. This is interesting. Okay, so approaching probably around and then moves away. Does that make sense? Approaches, passes, moves away. All right, then they're asking us to calculate the velocity of the car. Okay, so if, um, I don't know, let me just, I love drawing so much. Eh? So if this is the source, this is the observer or the listener. They are telling us that the distance there is 300 meters. But we already have the frequency. Okay, the frequency is 932. So at this point, the listener is getting a 932 hertz of frequency. How do we get the velocity of the car? Which formula can we use? Formula can we use? Do we have the time? Mm -hmm. There's no time. What else do we have? Okay, yeah, we have this 10. Yeah, 10 seconds. So this 93 watts is going to last for 10 seconds, which means that uh, this car, the vehicle, is going to move for 10 seconds before it gets to the observer. All right. So if I use speed distance over time, which is 300 over, which is 30 meters per second, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. I'll take that. So state Doppler effect, state Doppler effect, remember what we said? That the change in the frequency of a sound detected by the listener because the sound source and the listener have different velocities that is relative to the medium or the sound or medium propagation of sound. Okay, then uh, 6.1.3, I'm telling you the detected frequency at this. What is the question saying, guys? I think the detected frequency suddenly changes at this. And what is the reason for that? Okay, so the changes, I mean, if the car just comes and it's making a lot of noise and immediately it passes you, definitely there's going to be a change. Okay, so we could say that the car just passes the listener or observer. Okay, that is uh, one reason, or you can just tell us the car starts to move away at that instant. And uh, you can also tell us that maybe the car and the observer are just in the same place because the moment you're just at the same place, then there's going to be that change. And then six point next, they want us to take the speed of air to be 340 and then calculate the frequency of the sound emitted by the siren. So what we saw was that um the frequency of the listener was 932. Okay. The velocity of the source was 30 meters per second. The velocity of the listener was zero. The velocity of sound is 340. Why am I saying V S? Supposed to be just a V. Okay. So I think what do they want? They want the frequency of the source. All right. So remember what we said? Frequency of the listener should be v plus minus v what v l over v plus minus 
वी एस टाइम्स एफ ऑफ एस दस द फॉर्मूला लेट्स जस्ट गो बैक टू एंड बी शो 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 दिस इज नॉट ओपन परफेक्ट ओके देन लेट मी डू द सब्स्टिट्यूशन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी नाइन थ्री टू is equal to my 340 minus the loss of the listener is zero am i using a minus that's going to be a plus since it's approaching okay then this is going to be 340 minus the 30 times the fx 932 is equal to 340 over 310 Times FS. All right. So three forty divided by three ten is giving me a fraction when I'm, you know, what fraction is it? Thirty four by thirty one. Okay. FS is equal to nine thirty two. And then divide both sides by this thing. So nine three two divided by my answer. I'm getting. Eight oh nine, seven six hertz. Okay, so that is the frequency of the sound. Eight four nine, comma seven six hertz. Okay, step two applications of Doppler effect. Remember, we said it can be used in the Doppler flow meter. Okay, that meter that is used to measure the heartbeats of the fetuses and all of that. Two applications, okay, in the Doppler flow meter, and then we also said they can be used in the speed radars to detect those speed cameras and things. Okay, and then uh, we could also look at um, the sonar. Okay, and then also.